All right, good morning, Cadre. It is October 31st. It is Halloween. I'm not a big Halloween guy. I mean, I do it for my kids. I did it as a kid, but even then, I, I just am not a big fan of dressing up. Um, it's not a big deal for me, um, but it is, it is what it is. So um, I just figured I'd let you guys know that. Um, but I am here. I'm going to have a shave. So one second. Sorry about that. I'm staying home uh, today. I took the day off of work to go help at my son's school. Um, so um, my wife just sent me a text saying she got to work okay. So I was just responding to her for that. Um, but anyway, so it's not that big to, on me, but my kids really enjoy it. So we get into the spirit. We put up some decorations. We Bought them costumes. Sadie's going to be a witch. Connor's going to be a triceratops. And yes, even I got a costume. So I'll get some pictures and I'll show it to you guys. But um, it'll be interesting. It's not related to dinosaurs and it's not related to witches. It's completely opposite. So, uh, But it's going to be fun. So we'll do that. There's a huge neighborhood um, Halloween party that they do at the park where the kids can go get a bunch of candy. And then we just kind of trick or treat like on our street, you know, hit like six or seven houses or something like that of the um, people that we, we live by and that we're kind of friends with. Um, so the kids will have plenty of candy. It is a school night though, so we got to get them to bed and right back at school tomorrow. So um, anyways, uh, on to the shave. What my plan is today is I'm going to use another new soap. I got this on the buy sell trade. Um, Josh Dagwood Z has been using um, different ones of these soaps. I can't remember if he used this one or not, um, but I've made it very clear that one of my favorite scents is the Green Irish Tweed scent. It's one of my favorites, so I tend to get those soaps when they're in that. So this one is from the Wickham Soap Company, and it is a veg vegetal soap, and it's called Shamrock Tweed, and it smells just like the um, Green Irish Tweed that I've sniffed. I had a small little decanter of the real stuff from Creed, and I need to buy a bottle. I just haven't done it yet. But we're going to finish it up with uh, Sterling's Sharp Dressed Man aftershave, and then Sterling's new EDT cologne. Um, so I also have Razor Rock's version of the um, cologne um, for their uh, Creed uh, Green Irish Tweed scent. Um, theirs is called Irish Countryside. It's a little bit more on the sweeter side. I think Sterling got a little bit more of the notes that I prefer. Um, so I've been blooming it off the puck. It's like a two out of five. I can't remember if Josh said that they were lightly scented, but I would, I would say that they are. So let's go ahead and just get some of this worked into the face. I did shower, um, but I got out and got fully dried off and I was, Connor wanted to watch um, a Mickey Mouse show. So I was setting up the, the Mickey Mouse Halloween special. I don't know. We've got it on DVD or something. So I figured it's Halloween. Might as well let them watch that. So that's kind of what we did. Um, it's a firmer soap. Um, potassium stearate, aqua, sodium coke, Cocoa 8, sodium cocoa butter 8, sodium palmate, um, the jojoba seed oil, sodium avocadate, parfum, white cow and allotonin, and glycerin. So this one seems to be, um, you know, I've used a couple of vegan soaps recently, but they didn't have um, a lot of skin conditioning properties in them. This one seems to have done that, so it'll be interesting to see what I think of the poche fill on this one. But I have a feeling it's going to be slick as well. When you start seeing a bunch of these oils in here um, and the butters and then couple that with glycerin, I've noticed, and again, I'm no expert, but I do play one on TV. No. Um, you know, I, I don't know, I don't claim to know, but just kind of like from conversations that I've been having more regularly with Chris, you know, that obviously revolve around the Shady Cadre business, but just other, you know, his ventures as well and, you know, just learning about it. I've kind of come to that conclusion, at least for me, that when those ingredients are there, the oils, 
the um, glycerin for sure, it is slicker. Um, right off the bat, I can just tell with this proto lather, there's more cushion to this soap. So that's kind of cool. Let's see how it goes. Oh yeah, I was using the Razor Rock barrel brush. I figured it's still October. Get a Razor Rock item in there. Two actually, because you guys know what razor I'm going to use. I'm going to use that SLOC again. So let's build this lather on the face. It's definitely slick. I can feel it on the brush. It loaded heavy. Like I've got way more soap than I'm gonna need. Hmm. I can tell. This is a nice soap. Wow. I don't know much about the company, but looking at their um, web address, which is www.w-soap.co.uk, they aren't local to the U.S., but man, this is a good soap. I can just tell. You know, when you put it on your face, you can tell right away if it's moisturizing or not. I'm getting that here. So, awesome. Uh, I've got a Persona Blade on its third use. You know, unpopular opinions, I don't find Persona Blades to be all that great. I mean, I get a couple, I get like three shaves out of them, three good shaves, but I'm going to bend it after this shave. Because I know if once I push it past three, I don't get really good results. Um, but, meh, it is what it is. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. I'm expecting a mail call today, too. My mail gets delivered fairly early, so if it comes before I gotta start getting Connor ready for school, because he's in the afternoon program, maybe I'll do a, a live unboxing. So keep an eye out for that. And provide some initial impressions on what's in the box. It might happen, it might not. It, it literally depends. So kind of our family tradition that we've kind of created is before trick-or-treating, we're going to cook pizza. And we always do a jack-o'-lantern pizza. I'll take pictures of that so you guys can see what I'm talking about. The scent got a little bit stronger, but it's still a little light. Not crazy about that. And I got this soap on a on a steal. I mean, I think I paid ten or ten to twelve bucks for it. Is all um, on a buy sell trade, and the guy said he only used it once. This is the better of the soaps that I've used the last few days. It's really good. Really good. The skin conditioning is excellent. I, I don't remember what um, Josh rated this soap as, but man, this stuff's good. Huh. I'm, I'm going to have to do some more research and figure out what other scents they got. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to rinse and we'll come back for past two. So I'll, I'll be the first to admit it. I usually don't get residual slickness in um, vegan soaps or veg, vegetable-based soaps, right? No tallow. This has a lot of residual slickness. 
Um, I need to, I'm going to have to ask Josh what he rated at this soap as, or if he watches this video, I know he's been pretty busy lately. Maybe he'll chime in. Um, but my goodness. And, and take it for what it's worth, right? Lately I've been using a lot of Razor Rock, which I openly admit is a tier two soap. You get them for the scent. Um, then I use the Holy Black, which it's pretty common consensus, at least on the Shaving Cadre. Comes down to scent also. And then I used uh, Uncle John's, which, you know, is an, another excellent soap. You're going to get great results from it, um, but you're going to want to go for a scent. This, on the other hand, I don't know. I mean, they just, they, got, they did it right. That's cool. I like it. I don't know what other scents they have, but... Color me intrigued, to say the least. Okay, let's see what we got here. Pass two. See, and there's some of those little pinpricks that I get with these Persona blades. I don't think they'd show up on the camera, but just know they're there. I like it. I really like this. The scent's good, too. I really like the scent. This is one I'll use. Huh. I guess I'll keep watching the Buy, Sell, Trade, and if any more of these Wickham soaps pop up on a good deal, I'll pick them up. I think you can get them at West, West Coast Shaving and Maggard's, too, possibly. I just, you know, I'm not opposed to getting a used soap if the price is right. So. If I'm going to be going live, it'll be around 9.30ish Mountain Standard Time. If it's going to happen. Because the mail is usually delivered between 9 and 9.15. So it'll happen around 9.30 Mountain Standard Time if anybody wants to watch. Okay, I'm going to pause. We'll come back and I'll do my cleanup and then we'll talk about the lather and we'll we'll kind of wrap this up and I'll tell you my initial impressions of where I would put this soap. Um, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, let's do the post shave. I mean, not the post shave, the cleanup. I was, as I was uh, rinsing my face there after that pass, I was thinking, um, and I'm going to have to pull it out, the scent on this one as I've sat here sniffing it more, um, while it's in that wheelhouse of the Creed, and I'm now of the opinion, it actually reminds me more of the Panacrema Nuavia Verde, which I also own. Which I would also say is in the same wheelhouse as Creed, but I think it's closer to that. The post-shave and residual slickness is just amazing for a vegan soap. You don't get that all the time. This is good. And I'm talking really high of it, and I'm like asking myself here, am I talking so highly of it because I just haven't used a tier one soap in a while? And this is the first one to come close to that? Hmm. I think I'm, I think that's part of it, I'll be honest. So that was a good shave. Um, let's rinse real quick. Yeah. Very good.
Um, put a little dab of some witch hazel on the face, and while that's drying, we'll pull the lather. Okay. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, let's go ahead and pull this lather real quick. Again, the rinsing process on the brush. So I thought I over lathered the soap, but maybe I just put it on thick. But actually, there's not, I mean, there's enough here for maybe one or two more passes, obviously, but I've gone overboard more before. There's a nice shine to it. The bubbles aren't real big. I'm not quite as goopy still as some of you like it, so I think it still could have took on some more water. This is good. I just get it all over your hands almost and get those butters there. Why let it go to waste, I guess? This is good stuff, guys. I, I'm inclined to call it a tier one soap. I don't know where though, what box yet. Um, but I feel like it's towards the top end. I don't see any reason why it shouldn't be. So, um, I just really, I, I'm, I'm in agreement the scent is more closely to the Panacremia, Panacrema, excuse me, Verde. I'll have to use that here soon too. But I'll do a sniff comparison to them. But I think that that's what it's more closely to than it is the Creed. Um, the Creed Green Irish Tweed, um, but it's close enough that I'm, I'm going to use, you know, uh, scent inspired by that cologne. So um, we'll bend that. Um, this razor's going away for a little bit. Um, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. <sighs> So guys, let me know, you know, what do you guys got planned for Halloween, anything fun? If you guys haven't joined us, hit us up at The Shaving Cadre, www.theshavingcadre.com. We'd love to have you there. We keep adding more and more members. We keep growing. It's making for a great time. Love it. Going to use this to finish up the Sterling Sharp Dressed Man, which in my opinion is closer to the Creed. Good stuff. And I'll do my EDT off camera. No need to do that right here. Just know that it's going to happen. Um, but hope to see you guys join us at the Cadre. Aside from that, we'll see you on the pages. Have a good one.